Hello my friends and welcome. Today I am going to do a brief tutorial that will teach you how to install parallel versions of Vintage Story. What we mean by that is that having having multiple installs of the game that each access their own individual data as well as their own individual mod set. This is very handy if you have different mod setups and for different versions of, of the game that you want to play um, or you play on a server that has a older version, for instance, than uh, the version that you're currently playing. So to begin, what you're going to want to do is go to VintageStory.at, and you're going to go to the forum section. Now, here in the forum section, you're going to look for guides. It should be the third one. You're going to open that up, and down towards the bottom, you're going to find one that's called Guide Multiple Parallel Installations of Vintage Story. This is going to be your reference document so that if you're someone who gets along better with the written word than following instructions on a tutorial, this will give you the step-by-step -step through which you can accomplish this. Now, my suggestion to you is that if you have two monitors, you shift this forum post over to the second monitor so that you can access it easily. Once you have the forum post open and set aside so you can refer back to it if you need to, what you'll want to do is you want to come up to the top bar and you'll want to select client area and that is going to open this lovely page which helpfully is entitled client area. Here is where you're going to find the most current version of Vintage Story, both a full installer and an update installer, as well as show all available downloads and mirrors of Vintage Story. And this is where you will find Vintage Story starting at the current version, going all the way back to version 1.9.14. What you're going to do is you're going to download your preferred Windows installer of whatever version it is that you're installing. In this case, I'm going to be downloading 118.15. So in my case, I downloaded this into the actual directory area that I'm going to install it in. So I'm installing this on my D drive in a folder that I created named Vintage Story. I do not have any spaces between the words because that will make some things a little bit easier in our next steps. I would highly recommend it. If you do have a space between the word vintage and the word story or any other spaces, for the folder you're installing it into, you'll have to use quotation marks in the information that you enter in later on in our process. And I just like to avoid having to do that. It just makes it so much simpler. So that would be my recommendation to you. But my Vintage Story installer has been uh, downloaded into the D drive at its root where I can see the Vintage Story folder. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to select Run as Administrator, say yes, and the first thing that it's going to do is pop up and give us a warning. An old version of Vintage Story was detected. Do you want to uninstall it first? Your settings in previous worlds will not be touched. In this case, we are going to select No because we don't want to replace our current install. We want to add a new install next to it. So we select No and it's going to bring it up. The default will be wherever it is you have your current Vintage Story installed. What I want it to do is to point to this folder here, which would be D Vintage Story. And then um, it will automatically add a backslash in the word Vintage Story to the end of its address. So this one happens to be set up correctly. But if not, we would click Browse, and we would choose that directory and it's ready to go. So we're going to click Next. Um, if you, this is your first time installing anything past, I believe, version 0.8, you'll need to install Net7. If it asks you to install it, it means you need it. Um, in my case, I've already got it installed, so I'm going to skip that part. All right, confirming the destination and beginning the installation. And there we go. 
Now, it's going to ask if you wish to launch Vintage Story. The answer is no, we do not want to launch Vintage Story because we have a couple of things we're going to do first. So uncheck that box, go ahead and click Finish. And I'm going to come up here to my now populated Vintage Story folder, my installation location. I'm going to open that up. You'll see the first folder that we reach is also called Vintage Story. And then inside that are all the various things, including the mods folder, the uh, XE and the assets and all of that. What I'm going to do is go over to an open part of the screen. I'm going to right click, select new and select folder. And you can name this folder anything, but this is going to be our unique data folder for this install. So I would either name it vintage story data, no space in between the two words, or in my case, I'm simply going to name it data. Okay. And there we go. So now we have that data folder. I'm going to double click that folder to open it. And I'm going to come up here to the address bar, click in the open part. You'll see it changes it to its full address. I'm going to right click and copy. All right. And then I'm going to go back. And in this section, I'm going to locate the Vintage Story XE. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to say create shortcut. Eventually we can move this shortcut to our desktop but for now we are going to keep it in this directory simply to make life a whole lot easier for us. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, right click and select rename and I'm just going to rename this to Vintage Story 1.18.15 and hit enter. Now, at this point, we have a shortcut cut that points directly to our current version of the game. We're going to right click it. We are going to go to Properties. And here under Properties, you'll see we have a target window and a start in window and this is under the shortcut tab the start in window should be the same directory that you are looking at right in front of you now d vintage story vintage story d vintage story vintage story up above in target you should see that it says d vintage story vintage story vintage story xe we're going to come to the end of the line make sure that we're all the way to the end of the line we're going to Hit space, dash, dash, and then data path, all one word. It's going to be all lowercase d-a-t-a, -A, then an uppercase p, and then lowercase a-t-h. All right, so space, dash, dash, data path, space, and that address that we, you know, copied just a matter of a few moments ago is still available on our clipboard. And so with control V, we're going to paste that in. So it'll be space dash dash data path space and then the directory where our data is going to be found. We click apply. And if it doesn't complain, you've done it correctly. And we're going to click OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open Vintage Story using that link. If it is a brand new install, first of all, you should hear the menu music, even if you turned it off in your previous install. And secondly, it will ask for your email and your password. Enter that information and click Login. Once you have entered your credential, credentials and, and hit log in, it should bring you to the starting page. And in the bottom right corner, it should tell you what version it is. And it should be whatever version it is that you just installed. All right. If we come over and click on Mod Manager, there will be no mods here except for the standard Vintage Story code. Now, if you do this and you see the mods, from your original install we'll have to fix that and we're going to do that together as soon as we get away from this extremely loud music all right so we've gone through the steps we've 
did our install of Vintage Story into a brand new folder. We've added a data folder to that main Vintage Story folder. We've created a shortcut. We've renamed it to whatever we want to call it. We've gone in and we've directed it to go specifically to this unique Vintage Story data folder. But we go in, we start the game, and we suddenly see a list of all the mods we have installed for our previous game. All right, our previous version of Vintage Story. Very simple way to fix that, doing very much what we just got done doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is come up to my mods folder. I'm going to double click it. I'm going to come up in the address bar, click an open space, right click and copy it, just like we did last time. I'm going to go back to my main Vintage Story directory, go to our shortcut, in which case it, uh, it'll be whatever you've renamed it, right click, properties, and again, we're going to come up here to target, we're going to go all the way to the right, we're going to space, dash, dash, okay. so space, dash, dash, and we are going to add ADD, add, capital M, O, D, mods. In this case, um, that's, that's all we want. We don't want an S on the end. Add, mod, path, capital P, A, T, H. Okay. Then we're going to space, and we're just going to paste that address we just copied. Boom. So what we've done now space dash dash add capital m mod capital p path space and then pasted our mods folder location we're going to click apply if it doesn't complain you've done it right and once again we're going to launch vintage story and this time we're going to turn down music right now i appreciate the music but unfortunately it's too loud for what we're doing so if we click on mod manager you'll see we still have our base three mods because we haven't added any mods to it but if we click open mods folder it takes us to that mods folder we pointed to that and you can see there are no mods in here whereas i have like 35 or 40 mods in my other install so this is how we set about the process of creating a parallel install. And the last step, of course, is to come back to your Vintage Story directory, go to the link that you created, right-click, and copy or cut, whichever your preference is. And paste it on your desktop or wherever you want to paste it. But your desktop should now have that link. It should be named appropriately. Test that. And there it is. Our new version, 118.15, with its own unique mod directory and its own unique data folder, which means that you will not have to worry about this install in any way encroaching on your previous stall. Thank you for joining my ancient self as I have tried to guide you guys through this tutorial. Doing the computer stuff tutorials is really not my forte. I'm better at game tutorials, so hopefully you could follow along and I haven't confused the crap out of you. Please remember that if you want access to the uh, Squatchcraft channel Vintage Stories server, uh, just hit the join button or the link that's usually in the description below my videos um, and you will be able to join and become part of our Venture Story community. Remember, like, share, subscribe, all that other stuff that makes the algorithm happy. And I will see you guys in the next one.